हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन द सीरीज ऑन द इनकम टैक्स केसेस टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द केस ऑफ पेरिस एलसीज इंडिया प्राइवेट लिमिटेड वर्सेस डिप्टी कमिश्नर ऑफ इनकम टैक्स दिस केस हैज बीन रिपोर्टेड इन 106 आईटीआर ट्रिब्यूनल एट पेज नंबर 294 एंड द केस हैज बीन डिसाइडेड बाय ऑनरेबल जयपुर आईटीएटी ए बेंच द डेट ऑफ द जजमेंट इज ट्वेंटी फेब्रवरी टू friends as all we know that there is a lot of litigation on late deposit of employee share of contribution to the provident fund esi superannuation fund beyond the due date specified under those acts and before the due date of filing return of income in this regard finance act 2021 made amendment and made it clear that any contribution made beyond the due date prescribed on those acts is not allowable and the supreme court judgment which came in 2022 also came into the favor of the department which made it very clear that even a single day delay beyond the due date specified on in in those acts will not entitle the assessee for the deduction but na now the question arises whether the amendment brought by finance act 2021 is retrospective or prospective one thing is very clear that this question whether the amendment by the finance act 2021 in section 36 subsection 1 clause 5a is retrospective or prospective is a debatable and controversial issue and all we know that whatever the orders which are perverse to the assc are passed under section 143 subsection 1 cannot be based on the issues which are controversial and debatable in the present case for the assessment year 2018-19 the disallowance under section 36 subsection 1 clause 5a was done by passing order under section 143 subsection 1 the assessee filed appeal before the cit appeal that for the previous years for the previous years which were beyond the amendment brought in by finance act 2021 are not allowed under section 143 subsection 1 because it is a debatable issue that whether the amendment in the section is prospective or retrospective but the cit appeal was not convinced with the ssc and based on the decision of the checkmate and by the amendment brought in by the finance act 2021 he appealed the disallowance made by the cpc friends as all we know that uh, whenever any decision of the supreme court comes then it becomes the law of the land with a with the date on which the enactment has come into the statute but still it is a very debatable issue that whether for the previous years the deduction will be allowed or not so when the assessee moved to the itat against the disallowance made by the cpc and against the order passed by the cit appeal the itat held that in the present case the disallowance under section 143 subsection 1 cannot be done because this issue is a litigious issue and whether this amendment is prospective or retrospective is a highly debatable and controversial issue so it cannot be settled under section 143 subsection 1 order friends apart from this it is also very clear that when this amendment was brought in finance act 2021 it was made very clear that any contributions which have been not deposited by the assc beyond or within the time allowed in those acts 
even if they are deposited before the due date of filing of return of income they will not be allowed but for the remaining previous years the issue is still debatable so it cannot be taxed by the department by adopting the way of passing the order under section 143 subsection 1 at the end of this video once again i am repeating the name of the case the name of the case is paris elsis india private limited versus deputy commissioner of income tax and this case has been reported in 106 itr tribunal 294 the matter has been decided by jaipur itat a bench and the date of the judgment is 20th february 2023 thank you friends